Let's take a look at sync apps using webhooks between Salesforce and MailChimp. So notice there's a data service in there. Uh, if you copy and paste that URL into list tools, webhooks inside of MailChimp, you'll notice there's a space to put that, which is called callback URL. So if you go back over to sync apps and copy and paste your data service and go back into MailChimp, paste it into callback URL, and then be sure and uncheck the campaign sending, you should be all set now to manage groups and group members between Salesforce and MailChimp. So let's take a look at that real quick and what that looks like is I've got two subscribers. One of them is in uh, two different groupings. So I've got them in second list and test list. What we're going to do is we're going to show you how when you remove them from MailChimp, the test list here, it automatically removes them from that marketing list inside of Salesforce. And this is a test list here, and you can see they're elite. So we're going to automatically move them by removing them from the group in MailChimp. So take a look at what that looks like. We'll uncheck it, and then click Save. And then if we go back over to Salesforce and refresh, you'll see that, that they're no longer in that uh, marketing list called test list. And that's kind of the beauty of it. So let us know what you think about the new integration between MailChimp and Salesforce on Kazumi Sync Apps. Thank you.